The cow and her babies are happily grazing. Meanwhile, the farmer is ready to start his day by adding a solution to his tomato farm. He adds the solution onto a tomato, but it isn't a good one, so he throws it. But its size increased. The calf was captivated by the tomato and ate one too, and he rapidly began growing in size. The mother and his siblings ran away in terror. Mother cow is hiding under a tractor. Seeing the giant calf, she's literally shaking. Mr. Gorilla is all set to begin his day. When the first thing he saw is a giant cow torturing its mother. He threw the tractor away and kicked his mom. He sees the gorilla, and now he's going to give him a hard time. The farmer is returning to his place, and after a while he spots that the calf has grown so much in size. Oh no! It must have happened due to the tomato. This brat must have eaten it. Indeed, a bad solution. But I must do something really quick. Let's quickly prepare a solution. The farmer got the solution ready and ran to the spot. The farmer added a few drops onto another tomato and began calling the calf. Look out! Look out! He threw that onto the calf and he ate it and returned to its original size. The farmer immediately runs to check if the gorilla is alright. Thanks for saving my life! Oh, don't bother buddy! The cow is very fond of strawberries. Or maybe just mixing it. The owner came back home and found a bill. None other than the electricity bill. He got in only to find his beloved calf oh, no! increasing his expenses by mixing the strawberries since ages. He quickly turned the main off. But survival what? without electricity is quite tough. Just then his attention goes towards the frame on his bed. Now he knows the plan. The owner is now going to build a windmill. The owner building everything from scratch. He is focused on mechanics and physics. Finally, after a long hustle, the windmill is ready. Oh yeah! He switched on the main so that his only calf baby could grind the strawberries. Meanwhile, the farm animals do not really seem to be fond of the creaks and noises from the windmill. The rabbit must be having an idea. He began pouring grease to fix it and it definitely did fix. But the rabbit slipped on its feet. 
Before it fell and broke its bone she held one of the windmill's arms and began rotating. He felt joy by the rotation. The pig went forward to experience this, and he understood the rabbit. The sheep was eager and joined them too. While the owner was enjoying his free electricity, the animals formed a line and were waiting for their chances to take the windmill. The owner had no clue of what's happening outside. The pig took his chance too and finally the bison will take the windmill. But soon the animal's faces fell. The windmill was too slow until it finally stopped while the bison was held at the peak. What? The owner's surroundings began to shrill. A high voltage of energy began to pass into the house as the windmill began rotating very rapidly. All the animals vanished or probably fled away due to the wind. Before a black hole could be summoned the owner got out to stop the event. He was certainly successful in preventing a disaster. In a jungle sanctuary there exists a den where the mighty lion family took shelter in. The cub is making sure the lion and lionesses are asleep. Confirming that they're asleep, he left the den. He then began jumping one after another. To her ill luck her final jump was upon a hippopotamus. What? Ah! Oh no! Ah! The zebras were grazing in the jungle. Foxy and Wolfie were behind bushes and were observing the zebras to attack them. Here's our new target. What? <gasps> oh no! The foxes and the wolf were triggered and decided to interrupt and protect the little cub. Hippopotamus began the chase again. Meanwhile the father lion woke up and felt his son wasn't there. <gasps> the roads are empty. Hey guys!
nice. Have you spotted my son anywhere? A hippopotamus was chasing your son. What? The cub bravely ran until he reached oh, the no. end of the way and he couldn't escape. Hippopotamus ran into the rock and malfunctioned. Finally, the dad and the mischievous son were walking home. There is this really hardworking pizza delivery man. And then the irresponsible gorilla who owns an animal farm. As the delivery man went by, the cows were attracted to seeing the delicious logo. It took too many knocks for the gorilla to open the door. He took the parcel in and began enjoying his pizza seeing the cattle scenery. But the smell attracted many cows and they gathered at the window to convince him for a bite. He shut the door and began enjoying his meal on his own. The calf signaled to his mom that he is starving. She has to think of an idea, which isn't very far. First of all, we need to clean this scarecrow's man's clothes, then we can launch a plan. Oh yeah! Now the calf is ready with a bicycle to go grab the pizza. He didn't even care about the poor pigs. <laughs> the cow is at the pizzeria and gives his orders. Hey man, can you pack them all? The pizza man is asking him for the money. But the little calf guy has a sweet potato. The man rejected and demanded money. Now the little guy has got a birdie with him. The pizza man was pleasant enough to accept the little bird. They had an exchange and the determined cow started with his bicycle and rode back to his cow family with a set of pizzas. He's finally back and they are now having a family time with delicious pizzas. Later on Mr. Gorilla got out of his house to dispose of the package. What? But he was shaken seeing many there. Now, he would never underestimate the cows. <laughs> Time to visit Mr. Gorilla's happy cattle on this pleasant cloudy day. Mr. Gorilla is all set to start his day. Here's him accompanying the cattle for grazing. The animals are having a peaceful time.
time to return safely. Oh, that's Foxy. What? Oh God, get away, you darn thing. What are you smiling at, Mr. Gorilla? Go look after your cattle animals, or I will be back and wipe them out real soon. <laughs> look who's challenging, Foxy. First, learn to walk properly, then I'll let you wipe off my cattle. Such a loser. <laughs> Mr. Gorilla. How dare you humiliate me? Time to show him what I can do. Mr. Gorilla got his farm animals for grazing. Let's attack them. Okay, let's go attack them. Come with me. The wild animal has now occupied the farm animals what? from all four sides. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what? Y'all animals! Better hurry up and rush towards that side. I'll protect you from the back. <laughs> the farm animals and Mr. Gorilla have entered through a tunnel. Followed by the cunning wild predators. <laughs> Mr. Gorilla is defending the animals very cleverly. And now he successfully got rid of Foxy and the lion. They fell unconscious already.